So I know a boy with blonde hair, and he has wise eyes that are green. But that's only looking skin deep, and this boy is an iceberg, an iceberg reaching out into the murky seas. And crashing into him unexpectedly was honestly the best thing that ever happened to me. It was serendipity, and sometimes I can't even believe that I'm the one lucky enough who gets to see what's beneath the surface, the imperfections that are perfect, or at least they are to me. Because nothing he is is too dark or too broken or too deep for me to try to scuba dive and find the treasure chest hidden inside. I wish for a moment he could see himself through my eyes. Because I see a young man with the hands of an artist who wears jumps in heart first and always works his hardest, even though he doesn't believe that he's the best or the smartest person in the room. But honestly, he's the only one who has any sort of clue of what to do or how to listen to the silence and read the true wisdom and virtue of silence. He knows how to brace the perfect storm if it ever becomes too violent. He is defiant of the dark clouds that surround and the waves that try to pull him down. And I hope he never sinks and I hope he never drowns because my life would not be the same if he wasn't around and I would never be the same if he wasn't around. And I remember the moments where I thought I lost him forever. I fell to the ground thinking of all the things, of all the ridiculous dreams we planned to do together that would never happen if he actually gave in and gave up to the bad weather. And everything that held me together just shattered me apart in an instance because I realized most of my existence has been sculpted by his consistency and unconditional love and support in me and I couldn't find the air in my lungs to breathe until finally he texted me to prove that he didn't get lost to sea. But on that June night, I didn't get any sleep because the end of him would be the end of me. Because he's the person who pushed me to sing in front of people for the very first time and he always, always, always encouraged me to write. And that blonde hair and those green eyes are what I look for at every single friend, every open mic, because he is my best friend and my biggest fan. He's the one person that always showed me that I can. I can stand tall, even after every fall. He'll pick me up, dust me off, then push me back into the ring to fight to achieve my dreams until they become a reality. And he can see the beauty and everything except himself. And maybe that's why he keeps me around, because everything he does, I find profound. Like his creation of music or his perception of sound or how he sings to me the words that he quickly jotted down in his black journal at night when no one else was around, hoping that one day he'll find the way to wear the crown so the people in his past can finally see that they missed out. Because they did miss out. They missed out on so many things. Like his perfect kind of humor or the complicated way that he thinks or how he stands up for what's right and what he believes and how he strums the guitar strings just slightly out of sync sometimes. And when he asks to know what's on your mind, he truly wants to know who you are on the inside. He's not just asking to pass the time. I'm in awe of how he craves to taste adventure and how he speaks and feels and thinks without a sensor. And there's nothing on this earth that can accurately measure the passion that he holds inside or the influence he has had on my life. He inspires me to fight for a greater purpose. And he makes reaching for the stars always worth it. And maybe if I tell him enough, he'll start to see what I see. And maybe then he'll start to believe what I believe. And if he forgets the words that I say, if I must, I'll tell him every single day until time itself begins to slip away. Because maybe we are each other's hope. Because I know he's my anchor, but maybe I'm his lifeboat. Thank you.